The most important thing to understand is that consumer spending is 70% of the United States economy. And the middle class is the heart of that consumer spending. So it's your middle class that keeps the economy going. There's no way you can sustain the economy over the long term without a strong and vibrant and growing middle class. Can't be done. From its ashes, a democracy more reflective of the actual lofty constitutional declaration occurred. One that was not just for wealthy or landowners, but for everyone. A true democracy as we use the term today. People realized that such a mass wealth was a threat to democracy. Seeing the first democracy 2,500 years ago, they even understood what we forgot. Aristotle said the best constitution is one controlled by a numerous middle class, which stands between the rich and the poor. Those who possess the goods of fortune in moderation find it easier to obey the rule of reason. They are accordingly less apt than the rich or the poor to act unjustly toward their fellow citizens. The constitution based on the middle class is the mean between the extremes of oligarchy or the rule by the poor. The middle class society is best for it's the freest from faction, where the middle class is numerous, there at least occur factions and divisions amongst the citizens. The middle constitution is therefore more stable. Aristotle understood that when there are few rich and many poor, the many were uneducated and desperate, resulting in higher rates of crime. Eventually they revolt, and the result is a system ruled by the uneducated and often vindictive. Can you come back in, please? Oh my god, this is well harassment! I'm going to take this to the Court of European Rights! Lift up your arms. You only do this because you're in love with me and you're trying to, like, gay me up! This is well out of order! See? Totally innocent! I-N-A innocent! <laughs> What's this? I bought that earlier. He understood that we had three choices, either a middle-class society with high prosperity for the majorities with security and safety, or an oligarchy with mass poverty and a handful of wealthy that make the decisions, like we see in third world countries even today, or an oppressive totalitarian government, where, like the oligarchy, a small group of political party members decide what's best for all of us. Middle class society, however, is not something that occurs naturally. It must be created, created by laws.